All right, so you are about to witness my very first acrylic pour painting. Uh, I've been hearing a lot about this, watched a bunch of YouTube videos, uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and videotape my very first attempt at doing this. I've got four colors mixed here already in the cups. Um, I used really cheap paint because I <laughs> figured this would be an experiment. So I got an artist loft. I went ahead and bought this large pour paint yellow. Uh, I also have, this is also, this is the uh, kind of the house brand from Michaels. Not the highest quality paint, but uh, it'll do. I also have white here. This is thicker paint. I think the yellow is actually made for pouring, so it's more... Um, watery or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then I used this, some of this uh, craft art, a blue and a red here. And then um, per the videos that I saw, I mixed in these cups here with a uh, Floetrol, which is, uh, I guess, an additive that you uh, add to paint that uh, thins it and makes it more smooth, perhaps. And then I'm going to be adding some silicone here. So I got my four separate colors. This is the small um, canvas I'm going to use. And I'm not sure how much paint. I understand you waste a lot of paint. I have an old white canvas underneath it that's going to uh, pick up a lot. I'll just make an abstract out of it at some, at some point. So let's get to it. This is the cup I'm going to mix all the various colors into here. So you're supposed to mix this stuff up so it has sort of a drips off the stick. I don't know if you can see that. I'm just going to get the sticks out of the way. Mix them up a little bit here, and just going to wing it based on the instructions I saw. And th there's tons of YouTube videos out on how to do this. And some of the results are pretty amazing. So let's see how this goes. So I'm going to be I'm going to pour one at a time. I'm going to start with a little bit of yellow in here. I'm not sure how much to put in this painting. In this small, pretty small canvas, I'm going to throw some red in on top of that. So I don't know if I'm putting too much or too little. Then I'm going to spray some of this silicone in. Uh, I'm just going to see what happens here. There we go. I may even put too much in there. Who knows? Now we're going to go with blue. Of course, that silicone has a little bit of a <laughs> smell to it. Then I'm going to throw some white here. Uh, a lot of the poor um, paintings that I see are really... Uh, the dark ones don't really, I don't know, I like bright colors, and so I'm gonna, that's why I've got this, these bright yellows and stuff. Um, so let's just layer this up a little bit more. Got some red, put a little more yellow. Do some more of this. I may be putting too much of the silicone in, I'm not really sure. It's just, a, I think a little dab will do you. Uh, I'm gonna do some more white. And a little more blue. All right. And I know there's a dirty pour, which I think is when you just pour it directly onto the canvas. And then there's this upside down thing that I'm going to do where you take the canvas, put it upside down. Oh boy, <laughs> this is where it gets interesting. So I'm gonna turn this upside down, lay it flat here. And I'm just gonna lift this cup up and see what happens. And then I've got to distribute it across the canvas. So wish me luck. I feel like I'm doing a magician's trick here. Ready? Here we go. And oh, cool. Now one thing I don't have is like a, a blower or a blow torch. There are these mini blow torches that you use on these things. And I guess the silicone creates what's called cells. That's those little Wow, so just like the YouTube videos, I'm moving it around the canvas here to spread it across. Eventually it's gonna go over the edge. I'm gonna try to get coverage on the whole front surface. And yeah, I understand you waste a lot of paint doing this, but I'm dripping this paint onto another canvas that I'm gonna use for some kind of abstract at some point. Oh, cool. Let me go down to that corner. Wow, nice. Now it's getting a little bit muddy up there. I know if you mix too many colors, it can get a little muddy. Let's see here. I'm gonna get a little brush here just to get make sure that the sides are covered. And I guess I can, hmm. So I've never done this. I wanna make sure everything's covered on the sides. Oh, this is a nice coverage there. Oh, 
way cool. So I'm not sure, maybe I'll just let that sit and let it dry and it looks kind of cool, huh? First time, uh, I'll come back and show you the finished result. There you go. So here's a view from up top, it's still quite wet. I'm just gonna let this dry for a while, but you can see all those cells there. I actually poured the remaining paint on another canvas here and uh, used, was really heavy on the yellows. I think I left out the reds on this one. And, I, and as this one was dripping, just for grins, I kinda held it over and let some of the yellow drip on there. So I, we'll see how that works out, but I'll come back and show it to you once it's dry. So here's my first acrylic pour attempt. It's a good 24 hours or so after uh, I poured it and let it dry. And the interesting thing is, man, when you're pouring this stuff on, when it's wet and that uh, Floetrell or whatever is in there, it looks glossy. It has a, an incredible shimmer. And then when it dries, which is often the case with acrylic paint, it almost has a matted sort of duller effect, which I have noticed on other uh, acrylic pour uh, paintings that I've seen in person. So what I'm gonna do, based on the advice in the YouTube videos, is I'm gonna let this thing cure or completely dry uh, for a couple of weeks, is what uh, one guy recommends. And then I'm going to uh, put a couple of coats of gloss medium, which is kind of like an acrylic varnish, and that should make the colors pop. But I'm pretty happy with the way this very first time effort went. So here's the final result of my first ever acrylic pour painting. Uh, I let these two pieces dry for a couple of weeks and then I just applied two coats of uh, gloss medium and varnish with a brush and then they've completely dried. And so got them back to having that kind of shiny look. Um, but pretty happy with this first experiment with the new technique. What do you think?